Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download the Windows 11 ISO file directly from Microsoft and host it directly on their servers. So, it should be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, Microsoft makes this download available for free. So, you need to have an active Windows license in order to install a legitimate version of Windows 11. They do have this tool available for Windows 10 as well. And if you're upgrading your older version of Windows 11 or Windows 10 to the latest build, that's perfectly fine. You can use this creation utility just to do an in-place upgrade, or you might want to burn into a DVD and then upgrade your computer with that, or a USB flash drive for that matter. So, pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And let's jump into it. So into Google, we just want to search for the Windows 11 installation media. And it should be a Microsoft.com result. It says download Windows 11. Go ahead and select that. So scroll down on this page again. You can see it says Microsoft.com. Select the Create Windows 11 installation media option. If you want to perform a reinstall or a clean install of Windows 11 on a new or used PC, use this option to download the media creation tool to make a bootable USB or DVD. You can go ahead and select the download option for that. Otherwise, you can also download the disk image as well. So if you want to download the ISO directly instead of creating an installation media, which you can do right here. So this option is available for users that want to create a bootable installation media, so USB flash drive or DVD or create a virtual machine uh, using an ISO file to install Windows 11. This download is a multi-edition ISO, which uses your product key to unlock the correct edition. So click the drop down here. You just select the Windows 11 multi-edition ISO for 64-bit devices. And then you would select download. And then you'll go and select the product language from the list here. And then select confirm and give it a moment. And it will give you a download button here. So it's a 64-bit download. Go ahead and select it. And it will begin the download process. It's about 5 gigabytes in size. I'm actually going to just cancel the download here. It's a pretty big file, so I don't really want to fill up my computer with that. But you see it was downloading to your computer right through your normal downloads folder. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.